All right, all right. LD, WMMAC, this is your boy, The Coach. You're live, live, live on The Coach's Show, The Coach's Show Live. Okay, guys, um, you know, it's come to the consensus of the WMMA universe. You know, myself, Genesis, Roger, Combo Breaker 99. Um, you know, folks, we all agree that Tanisha Tennant does have what it takes to be successful in the UFC. Uh, she's got the skill sets. You know, she's a good fight. She's a very good fighter. Um, very underrated. But she's extremely good. The problem that Tanisha Tennant is probably having that she's going to have is that her, her notoriety. Um, you know, Tanisha Tennant, she's not a trash talker. You know, she's very introverted. And Tanisha Tennant in the octagon, she don't waste a lot of movement. And Tanisha Tennant in life, she don't say a whole lot of things. She don't waste her breath. Like, if, even if you notice, like, when I interviewed Tanisha, if I didn't ask the right question, Tanisha, she's not going to volunteer the information. You have to literally ask her the question to get her to talk because she's she's very intelligent. And she's not a person that likes to waste time or waste her words. She, she ain't going to do that. Um, and I can appreciate that about Tanisha Tennant. I can definitely appreciate that because that's who she is. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to take her a while to get the notoriety that she wants. And, you know, also too, you know, Tanisha, not an Instagram thought, you know, I, I mean, I, I mean, I find Tanisha attractive, but Tanisha Tennant, she's not going to get on Instagram and just, you know, show her ass and start doing dumb stuff on Instagram. She, she's not going to do that. Okay. Never. Um, Tanisha Tennant is here to fight. That's it. That's her whole goal. When you even talk to her and you just, you, you talk, you, you speak to her, you know that that's all she about us to fight. Tanisha don't care about the other stuff that happens in the sport of MMA. She just want to train and she just want to be the best fighter that she can be. And, and I respect that. Um, Tanisha Tennant has a code of honor. Okay. She has a code of honor and in life, you're very, you're very lucky to meet anybody that's got any honor. And when I met Tanisha Tennant and when I had a chance to talk to her, like physically just talk to Tanisha Tennant, her honor, okay, her commitment to honor is just breathtaking. It's breathtaking. And, you know, you just want this girl to be successful. So what do we do? What do we do? Now, we talked about the problem. So what do we do? We're going to have to do Tanisha Tennant like we did Chris Cyborg on this channel. You see, Chris Cyborg, you know, her own fiance, Ray said, coach, he said, I'll be honest with you. He said, man, you put out so many Chris Cyborg videos. He said, you were a part of Chris, you know, getting to where she is now, you know, on the fan base side. And, you know, I didn't think much about it until he just kind of, he just told me one day and I said, oh, okay, well, cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Okay. We, we can duplicate the same thing with Tanisha Tennant. The only thing is, is that, see, Chris Cyborg was, was constantly in the media because so many people hated Chris Cyborg. And I hate to say it, but because so many people hated Chris Cyborg, it actually helped Chris Cyborg's you know, popularity grow. <laughs> so many people hate her. So when you have that many people that dislike you, it, it was I, I won't say it was easy to push and promote Chris Cyborg, but the haters actually gave me a doorway to give Chris Cyborg a platform. That, I mean, it's just what it is. The haters gave me a doorway to give Chris Cyborg a platform. And so this platform here, we were probably one of the only platforms that was actually talking positive because Chris had so much stuff going against her, man. You know, people calling this, this woman Wanderlei, people saying that, you know, she's still on steroids. People saying that Chris Cyborg is secretly a man I mean, you know, see, Chris had to put up with that constantly, daily, every day. You know, she go online, you know, back then in like 2015, 2016, Chris Cyborg go online. Guess what? You know, she's not seeing anything positive. She's looking at something people, you know, writing about her that she did, you know, six, seven years ago. And it's crazy. And, you know, like Chris, to be honest, the baddest woman on the planet, the way she was knocking everybody out, Chris Cyborg was bullied a lot. She was bullied a lot online. So, you know, Tanisha Tennant don't have that kind of, she just don't have that, a lot of haters that, that really, so the doorway for Tanisha Tennant, we're going to push her, but to get notoriety, it's going to take a little more. It's going to take a little more. Okay. It, it, it is. And, you know, and I guess the next opportunity that Tanisha Tennant get, 
you know, she's going to have to go for a knockout. Because I don't think Tanisha Tennant's road to getting into the UFC, I don't think it's going to be an easy one. It's going to be very difficult. Also, too, sometimes when the UFC, they pick some of these people and they put them on short notice fights. Y'all notice that a lot of these people, they either got a padded resume where they beat a bunch of people that we ain't never heard of. They beat them in some, some you know, crazy defunct organization that, you know, ooh, this person, you know, they undefeated. But they got 10 wins, but they got 10 wins in the backyard, you know. So those people, they get selected or you get these Instagram people that's got all these Instagram followers like uh, Jojoa. <laughs> uh, that, that's an example. Liana Jojoa. She was already pretty, pretty popular on Instagram before the UFC ever signed her. So they were looking, you know, for a short notice fight. You know, they've given her a short notice fight. And guess what? <laughs> she got a short notice fight, but it helped her case. Because she was already pretty popular on Instagram. Okay, she already had like, what, 200,000 followers on Instagram? So that will also help your cause. Well, I mean, Tanisha Tennant don't have 200,000 followers on Instagram. Tanisha Tennant just got a history of whooping people's ass. That, that's it. <laughs> she got a history of that. So we're going to have to push. And it's going to take a push. And it's going to have to be a video every week about Tanisha Tennant. Now, you know, we have to find out what she's doing figure out some stuff and make some interviews in between there. And I think we can do it. It's just, you know, Chris Cyborg has so much controversy. Tanisha Tennant don't have a lot of controversy. And see, people, people love drama. People like controversy and people like drama. People like, you know, what do you call it? People like shit shows. <laughs> they do. And unfortunately, Tanisha, she has little drama. Little to no drama whatsoever. And she's got little to no controversy. So, yeah, it is what it is. But... I know I'm going to definitely make a video a week about Miss TMT, the champ. And, you know, she laughed when I keep calling her the champ. I'm like, yeah, you are the champ. I said, you didn't evict the champ. You just never got the opportunity, champ. And you the Phoenix Rising Series champ. You know, and, you know, and then I hate the way people, it's like they try to, they try to, like, downplay what she did in that tournament. Oh, well, you know, she only fought these one rounds and, you know, what, what you mean only fought one round? You know how hard it is to do that? You fighting like, what, four different people? You fighting four different people on one night. Come on, man. I don't care who, who you fight, who you, whoever do that. You know, you get respect in my book. You get mad respect in my book to go through a night, one night, and you fighting four different people. That's respect. I mean, you, you got the skill set to go in there and do all of that. That's respect. So, yeah, man. Yeah. We're definitely going to do what we got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do here, man, to um, to keep pushing Tanisha Tennant, put my one video up a week, and if something else go down, but I, hopefully she get another chance, man, uh, to get an opportunity. Or, you know, and Tanisha Tennant, she stay ready. She trained. Um, and she, she told me once before, though, that she always ready for a short, no, short notice fight. So I think that she knows that, you know, maybe her time is coming. But we got to stand behind her because... A 1,000 followers on Instagram is a good start. Man, we need at about 50,000. 50,000 strong and then 100,000 strong. I think Tanisha Tennant can do it. But come on, UFC. What are you guys waiting on? What y'all waiting on, man? Y'all know this darn girl can fight. Y'all know that she will be competitive against almost anybody in that octagon. <laughs>